This spring, 11 RIT students traveled to the city of Dubrovnik, Croatia, where they spent three months studying at the American College of Management and Technology. I decided to come to Croatia because it's something unique. It's in Europe, and it's a good chance to get away from the U.S., experience a different culture, and uh, kind of define myself, figure out what, who I am and like what I'm all about. And the good part about this program is that uh, the school runs on a quarter system, so I wouldn't be missing any classes or I wouldn't have to worry about transferring credits and stuff. And my mom actually did a lot to talk me into it. Uh, <laughs> She, I, I was like a little bit on edge, like, I don't know, it might be kind of cool to do. And my mom was like, this is a one in a lifetime opportunity, you can totally do this, it'll be awesome. And I haven't been to Croatia, I hadn't even heard of Croatia before this. And I always wanted to be an exchange student at some point. My first impressions when I got here, the place looks very different from anything that I've seen before. It looks very European and I, it's very charming, the old town. It was lovely. Well, when we looked up out of the plane window, it was amazing just to see that, like, flying over the water and looking at it. I think looking at the map, it looked like uh, Dubrovnik was bigger than it was. I wasn't expecting to be able to go for a run and end up by the harbor so quickly. So I got a bus pass, so I take the buses a whole bunch. I also walk because walking's easy enough. You can very easily walk from the one side of the city to the other. I'm 10 minutes from a mountain, <laughs> and I'm and I'm like right next to oh, this huge castle fort thing. Our professor showed us some apartments in uh, Rochester, and we sort of chose the one that we're living in right now. It's a lovely small place and the best part is uh, its location. It's very close to school and very close to the old town, which is lovely. And we can just walk down. We don't even need to take the bus so often. And we're close to the water and we're on a hill, so it's perfect. Our apartment's super close to the school and though it's really, like it's a tiny apartment, it's really cool. And the fact that it's so close to school, it takes like five minutes to walk to class every day. Classes are good. It's definitely a lot different than what I've expected. Um, it's easy in the sense that you speak the common language as the professor, so that makes it easier. But it's harder because it's a different way of teaching. Yeah, their attendance policy is really strict here. And it's weird, but I don't know. I'm passing everything so far. <laughs> the, the school, it's... It's a, it's a smaller school, but it, it's, it's a really, like, it seems like a tight community, and it's, it's cool to be involved in that. Each week, we RIT students participate in a separate culture class, meant to help better acquaint us with the history and customs of our current surroundings. We're taken through a history of the city, of the area, and given a few language lessons, and are prepared for our group field trips. Uh, this is Sutiesca Memorial for the victims of the Second World War, for the biggest German offensive when the partisans were able to defeat them and basically turn the war in their favor. One of the classes that most of us are taking here is Adriatic Art History, and even though the class is pretty easy, um, it's something that you could probably only take here. Yeah. Our art teacher really knows her stuff because she helped out with the restoration after the war, and she's taken us on field trips like on the wall and around town to look at all the sites and everything. They're not too high that you can now um, sort of see them only, but they were high enough for the period due to the position on the western side. One of our first field trips we took as a group was on Good Friday to the island of Korchula, the birthplace of Marco Polo. On our way to Korchula, we stopped on the Peixets Peninsula at a vineyard to taste some of the local wines. Afterwards, we boarded a ferry to make it to the island in time for the Good Friday procession that Korchula is famous for. The whole trip only took up one day of our time in Croatia, but it's one day that I will never forget. Well, I'm 20 years old, so I'm not allowed to drink back at RIT, so I'm allowed to go out and drink. That's fun. The trip to Korchula was interesting. Um, we saw some kids playing soccer, so we decided to see if they would let us play with them. 
so they did and that was fun just because you get to see how the kids are and you get to like interact with people. Um, no, I think it's pretty easy to meet people. A lot of the kids are laid back and they want to know about you because they don't really know that many people from America. So they're interested to learn what you have to say and just be friends with you. I've met people everywhere from on the bus to in class to anywhere. You just kind of talk to people. If you're willing to walk around with a smile on your face and talk to people and be nice, most of the time they're nice back. Like it's a tourist community, so they're used to people from all over coming here. And ACMT is located here, which has students from all over the world. So Dubrovnik is really friendly to uh, English-speaking people in general. I, I got into the pace of this place really, really quickly. It's a very slow town, and you just have to, just have to take things at a nice pace. I heard that people here drink a lot of coffee, and they do. There's a lot of these coffee bars that pretty much just serve drinks like coffee and beer and stuff. Oh, the cafes. I love the cafes. Two hours to sit there and drink coffee. It's amazing. <laughs> the food is pretty awesome. Like at home, you get bread, you get sliced bread, you know, whatever. Or you might buy, you know, uh, a baked loaf every once in a while, but it's too expensive to like do it all the time. But here, I'm buying a loaf of bread a day. The food's good. It's different. It's a lot more of fresh foods. Um, what I've noticed is that they love their carbs, so you get lots of bread with every meal. More bread than what you'd expect from me, especially when it comes to the hamburgers and all that. Uh, it's a huge ham-based or pork-based society. They put ham on pretty much everything. It's a standard. The food is good. The pizza. The pizza's really good. It's a lot, a lot of the same things we have back home. Um, but it's a lot fresher, I guess. The fish is caught right here, and fresh bread every day. We go to the old town, have ice cream, that's fun. And it's still not warm enough to be close to the water and to swim and stuff like that, but we're waiting and hoping that we get to be closer to water soon, when it gets warmer. I think if I were to miss anything, the most, the most, I think I'm going to miss all of the views and all of the places because the sea is so close. There are islands nearby with peacocks and it's so magical. There's a mountain that takes only 20 minutes to get to from my house to the top of it. I'm going to miss everything. I'm going to miss the lifestyle. I'm going to miss the food. And I'm going to miss the people that I've met very recently and I have to leave now so I won't get to spend time with them. But I've met a lot of lovely people, I'm going to miss them. And I'm definitely going to be back. If I were to change anything or do anything a little different, I think right from the get-go, I would just start talking to people, you know, really stepping out of my comfort zone and just approaching a few more students, taking a few more chances. I think I've become calmer here because you have to be, because it's not as racy as it is in America. You're not moving around all the time and you have to sit down and relax because, I mean, if, I mean, I'm, if you're getting into the culture, that's how they work here, so. After going on this trip, I would definitely recommend this to other IIT students because it's really easy for IIT students to come here because of ACMT. And it's a part of Europe that a lot of people, at least Americans, don't usually get to see. And there's such a, a huge path to it that it's something you'll, you won't learn anywhere else. And I think it's definitely worth it. I know it takes a lot of planning and a lot of everything, but you'll have so much fun while you're here that, I don't know, I wouldn't give it up for anything. Definitely, it's a once in a lifetime thing. Um, it's definitely different than any other study abroad in the fact that most of the other places it has a larger population of people who speak English and it's more of um, western based societies where here it's very traditional. So you're getting a more of like a historical sense than a context. It's a great experience. It'll look good on resumes. I mean you're going to a different country where they speak a completely different language and it's a preserved culture so it's all this is the way it was hundreds of years ago, and they've preserved that here. The weather's great, the beer is cheap, and we're right by the ocean. 
Like compared to Rochester, like this place is like paradise. Uh, everyone, like all the people who live here, like the young people, even though there's not many opportunities here and they'd rather go somewhere else. Like Zagreb, which is the capital city of Croatia, provides uh, more opportunity for the young students here studying at ACMT. But they just say that Dubrovnik has a charm and they're just in love with it and they, there's no way they leave it. Even if they have to leave, they'll definitely be back. I completely understand what they mean because I've been in love with a lot of cities but Dubrovnik definitely has a special place in my heart. Really nice place, and you should totally come here. <laughs>